Yo, what's up, Epic Gamers? And today, we freaking finally have it. After showing it's gonna start for two days, we finally got it. I am gonna be like, guys, somebody literally is so glitchy. You just wait. Just wait. Dang it! Oh yeah, he's right there. You can see how did he get up there? How did he get up there? This is the guy. Yeah, I finally reached. Oh yeah, I can't see it in part of you. Yeah. Okay. I'm literally gonna set up you guys. Do 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 I don't know if you can get copyrighted by this, but, like, I'm freaking doing it. I'm doing it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Or literally, your bad luck for the rest of your life. And if you like and subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss out on every epic video I do. So, I wouldn't risk it, but if you dropped a like and subscribed and turned on the bell, then you would have, you'd be able, you would have good luck for the rest of your life, and you'll never die, you'll never be hurt, and like, you'll be better than every single Fortnite player together. And like you'll be everyone better, like better. Oh my god! I'm sorry. <laughs> Just watch this. Oh. Like if you guys like, are, uh, if you guys like, want to get on right now, if like, can go bad, I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, guys, I passed the 80. Happy, happy, are you? <laughs> Probably not happy at all, but like, you know, you know, like, you know, you know, like. Bro, are you kidding me? Like. Yeah. Oh my god!
I'm gonna be filming this, okay? Oh! Dang it! It's like, I think it's actually pretty... I think it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna be filming it. So I can watch too and everything. So yeah. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll be like, what are you doing right now? Why is it pitch black? Well, because I'm getting ready to film it. So usually when we looked up at all of those races and people that were running, not only did they not look like us, we didn't believe they were there to represent our best interests. So therefore, at the collective, we didn't mobilize until Barack Obama, and we felt a sense of hope that finally our country is going to do something that we felt would never happen in our lifetime. And I remember being at the celebration in 2008. I made sure I was there. And we voted in 2016. We didn't vote, there. We didn't vote. And so many people try to make this political. This is not political. Me telling somebody to vote is like telling somebody to pay taxes. So that's one, getting over the stigma of nobody is going to represent our best interest. And then number two, the reality is that the person that gets the most votes doesn't necessarily win the presidency. That's uncomfortable right there. Because that's actually what took place in 2016. The Electoral College chose the president. And if you put all of their pictures up, I'm pretty sure they look a lot more like each other than they look like you and I. How about that? And then the third thing, especially in urban environments, Oh, man, they create barriers for us, Carrie. It's like you got to jump over the fence. You got to run past the dog. You got to jump on the hook. Bro, that is so five hours long. true. Get up to the, to the pole and they don't work. Elderly people working in the city. But they got the young That's people so who true. understand technology working in the suburbs. Like, that kid's in a car. <laughs> He's at the home. Voting. And then mm, those are pretty home guys. I don't know if you guys can Oh my god. Oh my god. So you know what I'm The kid was going so slow like that renegade like that. Ah! <laughs> like the dark bomb or something. Like look at him. He's literally like sneaking up. Shout to you and everybody. Like, I mean, literally? Well, let's talk about more than a vote. Um, uh, there is a black collective of athletes, artists uh, coming together. I kind of want to watch a movie. Right? It's a real deal, especially in the black community. When you just talked about, I got to work, so I can't go vote. And then when we do get in the booth, just in case we don't have to work, do we know who we're voting for? Not only do we have to vote, we got to be educated. And it's not always even about the man. I'm just going to leave you guys for a minute. It's about your local elections. It's about the people who who are your DAs, your state DAs, like the people who actually make change in your community, who will change police brutality, who will make sure that your community is taken care of, who will defund police and hope that they can help you in stopping police brutality. So talk to me about why you decided to be a part of More Than a Vote and what it actually means. Well, it means a lot to be involved with such an impressive collective, as you mentioned. And I said this multiple times, and I know it can be uncomfortable when I say it, but a lot of times we have to get to the root of the issue before we find the solution. And the quote was, I wish America loved black people as much as it loves black culture. And this collective, by the way, represents in a lot of ways what's uh, encouraging but also sometimes disappointing about our role as black people in America because we were brought here as labor and to entertain and we use those vehicles to get paid and move to the suburbs and be idols of white kids and so now that we have this collective I would say sports and entertainment represent the most powerful group of black men in the 
United States. I'm talking about money, power, celebrity, um, the ability to mobilize, community involvement, their leadership, their intellect. And so to have all of us pulling in the same direction at the same time for anything that we're passionate about. Look at her face, guys. It's going to be a difference maker. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Okay, I'll zoom in better for you guys. Maybe can more. Jayla, what does voter suppression look like to you? A perfect example took place recently, Carrie, in Kentucky. It was 6 p.m. at night, and so many people were standing in line, enthusiastic to vote. And you know what they did? Lock the doors. And you know what the people did? They continued to bang on the doors continue to bang on the window. They continue to let it be known. They were not going to leave the premises until they got a chance to vote. And you know what ended up happening? They opened those doors and allowed those people to vote. So do not be discouraged. These barriers show you that it matters. And we're here to help you break through them. The same thing with our platform and voices, Harry, because you know what's going to happen. At some point, right. we have I'm going to take your stuff upstairs, okay? I'm going to get Carol done with this stuff. People are not going to be protesting. You were supposed to bring this up yourself, young man. But it's still up to us to keep making sure that our voices get heard, and this is one way to do so. Right, and that and is a form of being again? activated, being an activist. It doesn't have to be right? protesting. It doesn't have yeah, to look like what we traditionally activism right? looks like. It's voting. It's that okay. simple. We now have to understand, like, a critical mass moment for this movement to continue to hold up as much steam for as long as possible and that's what this collection is going to hopefully allow for that situation to happen Jalen, in today's age of technology, it should be easier to vote. No doubt, it's like we call these devices smartphones but yet I can't vote for them <laughs> all of the things that we do in our lives are in our phones, all of these barriers are things that people will need to overcome in order to create a level oh of my God. And again, this is not political. It's your right to do so. And there are so many times where you feel like somebody may have gotten done unjustly in your community. Pay attention to who the judges are, who's running for Senate, mayor, governor. Pay attention who's running for president. And let's make sure in 2020 we make a difference. Why is more than a vote so important and invaluable in our community right now? Well, because right now we have an opportunity to let our voices be heard louder than ever. Anytime you see the mobilization of white kids holding Black Lives Matter signs, that means there's a breakthrough. Now, what happens with that breakthrough is the next step. You're going to look down in your email here and you know, all of these companies but. telling you how they're looking at diversity, how they're looking at themselves in the mirror, they need to make change, <laughs> just like in sports, right? I'm just getting something cool. It's like altitude or a ladder. Guys, what's on my gum? I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I'm zoomed in all the way. <laughs> That's why I literally my face. I think it's interesting because you talked about black men being very powerful in the U.S. if they're athletes and entertainers because for so long those have been the only avenues traditionally to create wealth. The NBA season comes back. What are your feelings on the season coming back um, in the midst of everything that is happening? I think you'll see players are challenging the establishment more. You're going to see them saying, okay, if you have all of these marketing and promotional deals, how many of them are with minorities? How many people are you employing in the NBA? What about certain teams? Who do you have as a minority owner? Or what about the candidates that you have for positions of so power? Big. NBA players have proven 
at black that they are now movers and shakers in the game. They're now the dog, not the tail. So if they decide not to play, some of the biggest social changes and conversations have taken place in sports that work during the game. Ali Kaepernick was before the game. The Ali Summit was a press conference. So they could mobilize if they chose to. But when and if you do play, challenge the league. Black Lives Matter on the journey. Continue to make sure that every time people are watching the game, they're also seeing the movement happen. Jalen, I appreciate you because you are always entertaining and informative at once. I, I really, truly am looking forward to the NBA season. Thank you for working with more of Zen of because your voice, your platform, all of it is needed, my friend. Be safe, okay? Yes, ma'am. I love and appreciate you one call away all the way. Thank you. Love you, brother. Love you, too. Every conversation that we had today, I hope was helpful for you. I am so grateful to everyone who came on with me That's to it. talk about what's going on in our home. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Shout out to Jalen Rose, Bundy, Jason A. Wordy, Von Orgy, and Russ. Their words were inspiring, but also important and invaluable. I hope your phone is full with all the information that we've been able to place in front of you. Again, you need to check out these resources because they are so important because we want you to vote. That is your voice. It is important. We, the people, want all right, you to vote. So go to morethanabook.org, <coughs> fitterfight.com, and when we all vote, all right, well, keep it Thank cool. Thank you so much for joining us and paying attention because this message. You need to. Pocket dial me. I'm Siri Kim. You need to call the pocket dial These are people. All right. Yeah. These are people. Yeah. Okay, are you coming for a drive? Where? We're going to take the on-site for a drive to see what the lights look like and stuff at night. From the dashboard, you want to come or no? Yeah, sure. I'll come. You're going to come? Yeah. You just want to watch your movie. Okay, let's go to smoke first, then we'll go. Yeah, you got ten minutes, and then we'll go. Okay. Guys, I'm going to cook the video at 17 come. minutes, and so I'm going to... 18 minutes or something, but yeah, that was pretty much all of it. It was pretty cool. I mean, if anything learned, but really, really, they want you to vote, but I don't know. I, mean, I wouldn't vote, but just still watch it. It's a cool movie. <laughs> you can see people's big heads, <laughs> and like, yeah, it's, it's a great thing to laugh about. You know, if you laugh when I said that kid has a big <laughs> but yeah, see you next time. Wait a minute! You scored three. It doubles. It triples your editing speed, bruh. bruh. <laughs> and because it's my favorite YouTuber, yo. And I'm using code at it, so if you like, fourteen hours, check back on it and use it again. Like, it just it supports my favorite YouTuber, and it just supports me because, like, I like it, too, so it kind of supports me. And, like, once I get my YouTube channels, I would not be saying that. Just don't be dumb and use code FLEA. <laughs> and, like, I mean, bruh. Literally, I love you guys, and, yeah, let's get on to this movie. <laughs> I'm going to be posting the movie. I am going to be posting the movie when it comes out. So don't miss out on that video. And don't be dumb. Use code FLEA. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And just use it. Because if you want to have like... <laughs> done. Literally... Every single kind of edit. In one second? And you want to have aim, but people can't report you because it's your aim. Just use it. And like, that's just wrong. Bye. I'm just going to make this 20 minutes. So yeah, guys. Bye-bye. Yo. Yeah. Bye. 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 Oh. See you later.